I want to use this image here that I have selected and really fill in some of the problem zones. So I've got the photo selected here inside of Mylio Photos and I'll choose Photo Open With. And I'm going to select the Adobe Photoshop Beta. And I'm going to choose to open up the copy here and I'll include any Mylio adjustments. So I'm going to make a TIFF file at 16-bit and send that over. Now, let's make sure that that's a layer, which it is, it's floating, and we can start to remove some of the problem areas. To start, I'm going to select this area here, which kind of has a blurry thumb imprint in it, it looks like. So let's just make that base selection, and we'll run the generative fill, and let it analyze those pixels. Now, sometimes this big of a selection causes problems, so I might need to make this in smaller pieces, but it doesn't hurt to try. And that did okay. A little bit of bumpy there on the leg, but not bad. I'm just going to take the clone stamp tool here. Let's just flatten those down. And I'll just shape that a little bit. Clone stamp. A little bit of a bigger brush. Select. And brush that leg back down to normal size. and sample a little bit of that missing leg in there. Not bad. Good. Now I see a little hole along the bottom here, so let's just make a small selection. Take the polygonal lasso tool there, and sort of select the bad parts along the edge, and fill that in. Let it analyze, and it should come up with good missing pixels. Not bad. Now I'm going to choose the crop tool and just extend a little bit here so it seems natural for the normal composition of the photo. And press return. And take a smaller selection here uh, just for the tops of our heads. Don't go too far. We'll generate fill and let it analyze the missing parts of the photo. And you can step through different options, seeing different hairstyles. Now, what's cool is, is you can actually click that and let it generate three more. So it generates three each time with the variations, but you can click generate again and let it run a few more times to see those options. And then you can step on through until you find some that feel really representative. I like that one there. I'll give that a thumbs up to help train it. And now let's select this problem zone. And then we'll do the rest of the missing sky. There we go. And I'm just gonna take the magic wand. Let's go ahead and flatten this image to date. And we'll just select that missing area and I'm going to marquee over that little spot there too and generate the fill. Now sometimes with this selection, I find it's best to expand it a little bit so there's no seam, but let's see if it gets a clean edge or if we need to grow that. Not bad. Now, as I look at this, I see one little problem in the original photo, and that's this damaged stripe here. Here's what's really great. Generative fill can be used very subtly as well. I can just select that problem area there and generate new texture. And it's gonna look at that damaged part of the photo and fill it in. So you see those little variations. Now pay particular attention to things like fingers here. AI is a little notorious for going a little crazy in those zones. That did a nice job on the stripe. And what I'm just going to do here is select that layer, grab the brush tool, and paint with black so that this area here is unaffected. And just blend those two layers together with the mask. I'm not bothered by the damage there, but in the sky and through the elephant, that was a little distracting, so I think that looks better. Okay, what we've managed to do there is take a picture that was cut off 
and properly restore some of the missing details. While you're here, remember, you can take advantage of things like the spot healing brush as well. I'm just gonna switch that over there to spot healing and just dab on a couple of those little scratches and little pixel blemishes there. And that looks great. And I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and flatten that image. And I'll click close and save and return that file back to Mylio Photos where you see it is added in with the originals and I've restored some of those missing pixels and really improved that family memory without changing its meaning.